Hey everybody, Wolver Monkey here, and today we're going to do an unboxing for the Gundam Converge number 21 box set. Um, I've been collecting these guys for quite a while. They're very cool if you're into the Gundams or mechs, and obviously they can be used for generic anime mech miniature games. Um, I know me and Phil played one if you're looking the back catalog of my videos with them. Ah, uh, man, I for even forget the name of the game. So, go fish. But anyway, <clears throat> this is the newest box set, number 21. And as you can see, you're going to get, um, basically there's 10 in here. They're supposed to be like a blind box kind of thing, but they're not. But you get 10 miniatures in here, or figures. Usually you get a full set plus three to four extras depending upon if there's any color variations of some. So I've already cut the tape on this. But we're going to open up each of these little guys and you can check them out. So. In this box they are number 247 to 252. And as you can see there are some doubles. You get two V Gundam double fin funnel types. You get two Aegis Gundams, two Zaku ones, and two Zaku one black TriStar type. So obviously, if you want all three of the TriStars, you're gonna have to pick up another one. Um, the two single guys are the Blitz Gundam and the REGZ Custom. Uh, REGZ was always one of my favorite Gundamish mechs, although I particularly Usually I like the, uh, the bad guy mechs, just because there's more variety in shapes and sizes. And nowadays, to be honest, there's just too many damn Gundams. Every show's got three or four, and then they have three or four variations as the show progresses, and it's just too hard for me to keep track of anymore. But the bad guy mechs always stand out because they, they all look... They all have their own look, if you know what I mean. So... Let's dig in and check some of these guys out, huh? So we're all the doubles we're gonna open one of. So we'll start right here. They are a bit of a pain in the ass to get that first one out of the box. There we go. So that's what you get. It's a cool little box. It says some stuff, info about the mech, English, some Japanese, and the rest of the ones in the series. They are super easy to put together. Um, most of them are, they're all push, snap fit, push fit pieces. Um, sometimes I will hit them with a spot of super glue if it looks like they're gonna be a particular pain in the ass and keep falling out. They do come with bases. However, to be honest, I don't use them. This takes up more space. So this is one of the parts bags. You can see he's already pretty well put together. Um, these will come completely apart though, if you want to disassemble them for some odd reason. But So you get fin fanals, the Gundam, and a base. And the other package has his shield, his gun, and his horns. So let's put this little guy together. I'm not really too concerned about the base as I don't use them. I do hang on to them though. Oh yeah. And you get a piece of gum. Yay. So excited about that, right? It actually doesn't taste that bad. I've had it before. But I'm not a big uh, gum chewing type of person. So I usually just pitch it. As I have nobody to give them to. Alright, so there's all our little pieces, parts. So as I said, these guys, uh, they do have some movement. His head swivels, the arms move, uh, legs not so much, so he's got himself a backpack. But like I said, you can totally take these guys apart. If you want to mix and match your Gundams, you can. Uh, the waist and legs should come off, but I'm not 100% on that. The backpack should come off as well. Put his little brains back on his body. And let's see, thumbs, go that way. 
said if you wanted to, you know, you could totally glue these on. Put them in a fave pose and just glue them on. So let's see, put the weapon in his hand. Put his arm back on, shield goes there. And yes, the hands do move and actually come off. Um, again, I don't know why you'd want them to, but they can. Now the funnels, let's see. Ah, so there's a spot right there. And it says R, so you know it's the right side. Where do they go on though? Ah, oh, these two pegs, one here and one up here. I'm guessing. So we're gonna put the right one on the right. And this one is marked left. Oh yeah, the hole's a lot higher up. That makes sense. So that way they come out even on the on the mini. I know it's a figure. I keep calling it a mini. Hmm, that looks a little janky, don't it? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a little janky. So my right would be this right. So how's that work? Again, the pictures are great. <laughs> So they want it like that. I'm going to put them on backwards just to see how that works. Mm, it's closer. Okay, that's looking like the picture. So that has to go... Why would it do that? Okay, well, I guess that is how it goes. Not very uh, asymmetrical. But I guess, according to the pictures, that is how it goes, kids. Hmm. So there you go. There's one. So yeah, that's already starting to be a pain in the ass. I might have to spot that with some glue. And then he's going to be back heavy a little bit. There we go. Ta-da! V Gundam Fin Funnel type. I've never actually got to watch V Gundam. Oh, we forgot his brain. His, uh, his horns. That should just push right into his head. pop his head off and do it that way. There we go. Although to be honest, I kind of think it looked cool without him too. And see, just by me picking it up, those fucking things popped off again. So yep, yeah, those are probably getting the spot of super glue. Before I put them on the shelf with his buddies. And he's a little off balance. But there you go. I said you can use the base. There's a hole in the bottom of his foot. That'll help stabilize him. There goes the damn funnels again. And the other funnel. Yeah, so anyway, those are getting goddamn glued. Next guy. Okay, this is the Aegis Gundam. And he looks like he's going to have a bunch of little bits that are going to get glued to. It just depends on the figure. Gum. Alright. Just depends on the figure. Some of them have a lot of bits that I glue and some of them don't have any. So again, you get a base, weapon, part of his backpack, and there's the mech. And as you can see by the picture, there's a lot of little bits that have to get stuck on. That are probably going to fall off all the time. And so here's the second package. We get, I'm guessing those are some kind of shields. That's his toe spikes. I have no idea. Some more spikes and then his horns. So we'll put that one together as well. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure them the white spikes are gonna have to get glued in. Just because they look like, like they already tell they look like they're gonna be a pain in the arse. I know two of them go on his toes, and I don't really see by the picture. And as you can tell, you don't get any uh, instructions with these guys. So all you really have is the picture of the box to go off of. Unless you like super know your Gundams. Which I don't anymore. There's Like I said, I don't. There's just too many. The last Gundam show I watched was I started watching Iron Blooded Orphans on Netflix. And I uh, watched it up until the part where they get into space. And I think I watched a couple episodes past that. And to be honest, I was pretty bored. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I understand the storyline and everything, but when you got a big Gundam, and all he does is swing a sword. So here's your Gundam. Pretty simple. So let's see if we can figure out how to put them together. Obviously, that's the backpack. You can see the pieces are shaped, the hole and the peg. So that way you put it on the right way. If it wants to go on, there we go. Man, where's our picture? Let's see. So here's his horns. I really do think those things go on easier when you tear his head off. Mm -hmm. Looks like this is supposed to go on there. Like that. That doesn't really sit in there too well though, does it? And there goes the horns. <laughs> Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And there goes the backpack. Of course, right? Oh, I see. These things are supposed to go on his hips, it looks like. Man, that is one heart. Yeah, on, uh, there's one there on the hips. And it angles back. Toe spikes. Backpack goes back on. Well, I think... I'm just going to open these up for you guys, and I may just go ahead and uh, build them off cam, because these are turning out to be a bit of a pain in the ass, aren't they? And I don't want to make a six hour video of me putting Gundams together, because that's, no one wants to watch that. Not that y'all watch my shit anyway, ha ha ha. Okay, put his arms back on now. That's what we got so far. Let's see. Shield gun. Toe spikes. That's going to be the hard one, I bet. Looks like these. They're just supposed to slot in there. Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold. Where do these other ones go? I'm not sure, though. Got two connector holes. We gotta find out where those go, huh? Man, I don't see anywhere in this little guy that has those kind of holes. Oh, here off of his hands. And I don't see him pointing forward in the picture, so I'm guessing they go backwards like that. So, so we're gonna glue his butt together off cam and we'll come back and see him okay we'll continue opening gundams and see what the rest of them look like and if they're going to be a pain in the ass or not all right this one doesn't look that bad this is the blitz gundam no idea what series that's from And now I don't save the boxes. I'm not worried about destroying them. I used to actually save the boxes. It's just a uh, collector and me trying to save everything. 
So this one, what do we got? Oh, we only got one, one baggie. So yeah, he'll be pretty easy. Base, horns. I'm gonna guess that's a weapon. Looks like an airplane. Uh, that looks like a shield doohickey with some rocket missile thingies. And, oh no, that's part of his gun. Interesting. Like I said, I haven't actually seen this, so... The series that this one's from. And naturally I'll post pictures of these guys too on my Instagram if you guys want to see that. You can always go there. I'll put a... For some reason I have any issues linking it, so you can just... Man, somebody's trying to get a hold of me on my phone. Sorry for that. So my Instagram is WolverMonkey with the number 8. Alright, so there's our Blitz Gundam. It actually looks pretty cool in purple and black. It's a nice color change instead of the bright colors that they usually are. Okay, so put these in his noggin. Bafosako. This goes on here. Hmm. Interesting. I'd like to see. I'll oh, see. This even comes apart. Lovely. I'd like to see what show this is from. And according to the artwork, this is actually his gun slash shield. Let's take his arm off and put it on. It'd be easier. So there and there. Got a peg and a block. So that's a nice tight fit. All right. Bafo Sacco. We got one to stay together. How cool is that? Actually, it looks pretty sweet. All right. So that is the Blitz Gundam. Next, I think. We will do some baddies. So let's do a Zaku one. Uh, see here he's got his bazooka and here he's got his rifle. So that means you can build them two different ways. Or if you're, you know, using them for a miniatures game. Like a heavily armored one and a light armored one. Okay, there's the gum again. So the Zaku should be a pretty easy build, and he is. So there's the Zak, you get the bazooka, the rifle, and some bits. Because we need bits, right? Small little pieces are always fun. Honestly, I like these guys, though. I mean, I've built a bunch of the uh, really small Gashifan Gundams. And those are actually more of a pain in the ass to put together because of the tiny pieces. And the amount of pressure you need to snap them in often leaves divots in your fingers for days. Alright, so the base again we don't need. There's our little Zaku. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so... Why does he have a fist? Oh, this one's round. Oh, I see. The round fist goes with the gun. I'm guessing. In the picture he's holding it this way, so... How's the bazooka going? Okay, and then this one's got a big slot. So I'm going to say the bazooka. But, yep, see, that one slots the bazooka really easy. So that's him with the bazooka. Hmm. Wish they give you some kind of directions with this. Like I know that that goes together, but where does this little piece go? I 
Let's see anything on the gun. No, nope, there's nothing on the gun that would take this piece. Anywhere on the Zaku itself. Mm, I'm gonna say no. I really don't see anything that fits in with this. Well, if any of you guys know, I'm sure. Oh, wait, there's his hand. That has a hole in it. But it's not showing it on the box that he has anything sticking out of his arm. That's weird. Why would you just have that sticking out of his arm? That makes no sense to me. Hmm. Yeah, if any of you guys know what this thing goes to, that'd be cool. Otherwise, I'm gonna might have to Google image some stuff to see if I can find it. And he doesn't want to stand up either. Nice. You're gonna make me use those bases, aren't you? There we go. Let him lean against his bazooka. Sort of. It would be nice if they had some kind of articulation other than the arms. So now I kind of have to use his base. All the bases, by the way, are absolutely 100% identical. So it doesn't matter. It's not like uh, where some of the bases are specific to a specific miniature. There we go. I suppose you could still use them in a game like that. But I would probably mount them on something different if I was going to put them in a game. Alright, extra pieces aside. Now this is going to be pretty much the same thing. Because it's still a Zaku one, different colors. You get an axe, a punchy shield thing, or a gun. Now I know the... Uh, Black Tri-Stars, obviously, as the name applies, there's three of them, and each one has a different weapon. I've seen the big model kits. I'll buy a big, I mean, uh, 144 scale. Okay. Zaku, punchy fist thing, heat hawk. That looks like the bottom handle of the heat hawk. And the base again. Well, this one, as you can see, does not come with his rifle even though the box shows it. So that means the other guy will come with the rifle. MS-5005B, what does this one say? No, it has this exact same number on it. But I noticed that's what they usually do. If there's uh, two variations, the doubles, one will be one and one will be the other. Uh, they did that with the GMs. You had one GM with the rifle, one GM with an energy sword. That's probably what they did with this guy. We will put this one together and then open it up, open up the other one. Tell you what, you see how the Zaku goes together. We'll just open up the other guy because it's killing me. I gotta see it. If you're wondering where I get these big boxes of these from. Uh, I get it from a site called Hobby Link Japan. Um, I used to buy these separately off of eBay. No, nope. this one also just has the axe. So maybe I could use the gun from the other Zaku and give it to one of these guys. Hmm, that's kind of weird. All right, so yeah, both of these guys are exactly the same. Uh, even though they show two different configurations on the boxes. So anyway, as I was saying, I get these from Hobby Link Japan. I used to buy them separately off of eBay, which can get rather expensive. Because, ow, these little guys go for anywhere. The cheapest I've ever seen them is 10 bucks a piece, plus shipping. Um, I want to say they average anywhere from 10 to 25 for a single guy. Um, obviously the older series, this is 21, the newest series. I already pre-ordered 22, but um, the older series obviously go for more money because they don't make them anymore. So depending upon how you want to, if you want to get into these uh, Gundam Converge figures, 
my personal opinion would be get them from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, one case of these, or bo big box like I started the video with. Um, run with shipping and everything. It, it run the case runs you about f with shipping. It runs me around 45, 48 bucks. So there's your REGZ. Which isn't bad because that breaks it down to like four dollars and less than five less than five bucks a mech. Where I said if I was doing the eBay thing at first and they're you know fifteen to twenty ten, fifteen, twenty-five dollars for one guy. So I mean if you're just collecting them just because you love Gundams, that's one thing. Uh, I originally started getting these things to possibly use in miniature war games, said anime mech games. So that would get expensive. Um, because you would buy multiples of some stuff so that part would be expensive because you know you're thinking like a um, war game so you'd want a squad of the things right I know I have the uh, cross Gundams I've got um, one of them, one white one and three dark all that all dark blue paint scheme they have from Gundam X with a little pirate skull on a chest. So the reason I did that was the three regular, the three dark ones are going to be the regular troopers, and the white one would be like the sergeant. So at least that's what the idea was. Um, I have picked up another set of rules that I would like to try using these with. Come on, get out of there! There we go. So here's our REGZ. It looks pretty sweet, I must say. Absolutely digging that mech. Okay, here's the backpack or part of it. Let's see, here's the other half of the backpack. And this part goes in the middle. As this is rounded, and that's rounded. Probably want to hit those with a spot of glue too, just to make sure they don't pop out. There we go. Put his horns in. As for this box set, this is definitely my favorite one. Just because I said I definitely have a liking for the art for the REGZ. But let's see, I can't remember if that blue's up or down. It's down. Okay, cool. See, I've got that on right. This gun with this wood part kind of reminds me of an AK. Just a mech sized AK. Alright, and then these things. Where do these go? <laughs> ah, right there. But once again, our picture isn't really too helpful. So we're going to have to finagle this. Are they marked right or left? They absolutely are not. Cool. Well, we're going to put this one on this side. And again, this is probably something I'm going to go back and glue in just because they are kind of fiddly. Cool beans. So there we go. Rather good looking mech, I must say. I like the color schemes. The uh, off color looks cool instead of being white again. Uh, it doesn't want to go in his foot, of course not. Why would it? There we go. So that's the box set. So I'm going to slap the other two, the other guys together with spots of glue, and I'll come back and show you what, how those came out. Okay. So back in a minute. Okay guys, so here's the six of them all built up and standing on their base. The Aegis guy doesn't have, he won't stand on his base. Um, the little peg that's here, they put the hole on him uh, right up inside like the arch of his foot. And the peg doesn't go in deep enough to engage so he just kind of stands there. I just had him stand there. Um, as you can tell, 
I uh, glued in the both of the white spikes. I uh, glued in both of his arm spikes. I uh, glued on his backpack because that kept falling off. I glued on the two head pieces as well. Just because they kept falling off and being a pain in the ass. Um, the only other stuff that I glued was the two fin, fan, uh, fin panels on the back of him. That's it. Nobody else got any glue. Everybody else is put together pretty well. So that is your Gundam Converge number 21 uh, box set. And it says I still have an uh, extra purple TriStar guy. I still have an extra V Gundam. And then another Zaku and another Aegis Gundam. So this is not bad, really. Um, if you're the financial type of person, so you can get one of these box sets for, like I said, 50 bucks, slightly under 50 bucks, which makes it five bucks a mech. You get 10 mechs. And if you turn around and put them up on eBay at 10 to 15 bucks, obviously you can double or triple your money. And people are buying them, I guess. Um, so that's all I have for you this time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.